Well, with so many events coming up this holiday season, we want to know just from the Houston Police Department what they are doing to try and make sure that crowds feel safe while attending parades and festivals. There are so many that are going on this holiday season. ABC 13 reporter Jeff Ealing live now with more details on what he found out. Jeff, no doubt that people, anyone gathering is having thoughts about this. Oh, no doubt at all. And you mentioned the events coming up. They're pretty big ones as well. You know, you've got the city of Houston having its Thanksgiving Day Parade coming up this week. And then next week, there's the Mayor Holiday Lights Festival that's going on. These are open to the public. These are events that are going to draw a lot of people out. And safety, obviously, on the minds of so many people. We talked with local officials. They say that the one way to keep everybody safe, making sure you've got plenty of law enforcement on hand. Trust me, there are more there than you think. Uh, there are those that you see and many, many that you don't see. The Thanksgiving Day Parade will see hundreds, if not thousands of people lining the streets of downtown Houston. Recently, when we talked about safety, it concerned around the pandemic. But with the events at Astroworld and the horrible news coming out of Wisconsin, a lot of attention is now being paid to crowd safety. The city of Houston already has plans in place to keep its large events safe with additional officers and resources on hand. We spoke with the mayor's office of special events about the challenges of hosting a big event with an eye on security and how they can reassure those attending the events will be safe. Things uh, could happen, and we anticipate in that those planning processes, uh, all of our elements, and uh, and and I'm I'm very proud of the communication that we have with HPD. And one thing I can tell you in speaking with authorities, they say that because the events in Wisconsin don't seem to be related to extremism, they feel that the plans that are already in place locally are probably going to be more than enough to keep everybody safe. Of course, if that was something different that had happened in Wisconsin, then there would have been a lot more discussion about how to beef up security, guys.